All right, hey guys, I'm gonna show you how to night latch a trap. Uh, I know I made a video a couple years ago about night latching a trap, and it's kind of hard to see like the angle and all that of what I was doing. So I'm gonna make another one here so you can see what I'm what I'm doing the whole time here. And what we're gonna do is night latch. And so I drew a little picture here of what this on the pan here that little notch there when it comes from the factory most of them are going to be like uh, this top picture right here it's going to have a slight little curve to it on this part right down here and so when we're going to night latch this we're going to file up a little bit probably halfway up and then on, we're going to go a little over, a little less than halfway out, and we're going to file up another little piece. So then this is what it's going to look like when it's done. And also, on the dog, right here on the very tip, it's kind of hard to see, but it's not a perfect 90 degree angle. This is a little bit exa exaggerated drawing here, but it has a little bit of a lip at the very end on the top of it and when you night latch it you want to make it a 90 degree 90 degree angle so we're going to have to file the top of it and also the very front on the tip so it'll fit real good in that uh, little notch right there that we're going to make so to start I'm going to take a file I'll use two different files this one's a little bigger and then this one's a little bit smaller. To start, we're gonna file up a little bit to make it flat. You can see it's hard to see, but you can see it made it a little bit, a little more uh, of a 90 degree angle on the bottom. And it's not really curved and so what we're going to do is we're going to keep filing up you can see that we took we filed quite a bit not a lot but we filed quite a bit off of there so what we're going to do is go here to the front and file just a little bit. You don't want to file too much because you can't put it back on. So you just want to It's a little harder to see but you can see now that it's more of a 90 degree angle at the very back here it slopes down so we're gonna angle it up just a little bit so there it's about a 90 degree angle there we're gonna go about halfway out to the end here and this is when the little file comes in handy to get it started I use the very the very edge of this to get it started here. And then when you get it started, you just file it up. See it's starting to take that shape. There's a little bit of some burrs on it. It's kind of hard to see, 
but there's a little notch here and we filed up. So now we have to file the dog down and it's on the very bottom notch and when you push down then it's going to go up to that notch. And what you want to make sure is when you're filing this is you don't want to be angled up or down you want to make sure that it's level because it, when it's not level then your dog isn't going to be level and it, it'll make your pan tilt to one side or the other so now on the uh, the dog it doesn't take a lot to file but we'll just file it here file the very end of it so now we have a good 90 degree angle here and it'll fit in this notch here it's hard to see but it'll fit in that notch really good try and zoom in here a little bit but you can see right there you can see the bottom notch and then when you push down the pan it'll go into that notch right there and I have a trap here that I've already night latched. You can see when you set it, you push the pan all the way up so the dog is in that very bottom notch. And so all you're going to do is you're going to push down on the pan, you're going to hear a click. That wasn't really a click, but most of the time you'll hear it click. like that. You can see now your pan's pretty much level. One thing you will have to do is you're going to have to play around with the distance uh, from the dog to the pan. So you're going to have to bend this either in or out depending on where. If it's too far in and you push down uh, and it goes into the top notch then your pan's going to be uh, tilted down and if it's too far back then your pan's going to be tilted up so you have to figure out the right distance for your dog and when you get that then it, then it should be good I'll just go ahead and set this one and see what it looks like here Looks like I'll have to bend it a little bit here. So just take you a pair of pliers. And just bend it forward a little bit. So right there the pan's already level so I'll have to mess with it a little bit more. It's on that bottom notch. But when it goes down, you hear that click. And then you can see what I was talking about, that pan is really far down. It'll still go off, but that's not what you want when you're uh, trying to catch an animal. So I moved it a little bent it a little too far 
So I'll bend it back a little bit more and try it again. There you can see the pan's a little more up. We'll go down. You can see it clicked and it's still a little bit low. It's a little bit better. But to just fix that, you can just push up with your thumb a little bit and we'll get it level. When you night latch a trap, it's going to make it a little more crisper. Uh, it won't be, you can make it more of a hair trigger depending on how much you file uh, on the top notch and how far, how far out or in you file that notch. Uh, but it, when you night latch it, uh, you get rid of the creep in the pan when it has that little curve to it. Like I was showing you on the top picture there, when you have that and the animal steps on it it slowly goes down and all of a sudden it goes off but when you night latch it as soon as the animal steps on it then it'll go off because it has that good uh, 90 degree angle and it doesn't have any uh, the curve to it so it doesn't want to roll off when it hits that uh, 90 degree angle and it goes off so it doesn't take much pressure to uh, set it off but, you, but You'll have to play with the pan tension too, depending on what animals you want to catch. Uh, that's how you night latch a trap. You can see this is a one and a half. Coil springs are a little bit easier to night latch and to get them set better than long springs. But you can night latch pretty much any leg hold trap. But you can see this is a nice, it's like real crisp. You don't push down the pan very far and to get it to set off so that's how you night latch a trap so what you're looking for is that bottom picture right there that that picture and the, the two bottom pictures there is what you want it to look like so that's how you night latch a trap and hopefully it helps you out get a little bit of better idea of what what you're doing so we'll talk to you later